everybody, it's Matt here from the Eastwood Company. In the last tech series, you may remember we showed you how to replace this lower rotted out door half. In this tech series, we're going to give you some tips and tricks to make that repair completely seamless. And we'll be using our contour body filler line and sealing everything up with our new polyester surfacer. So let's get started. Take your hardener and take the cap off and you want to squeeze the hardener just till it, you get all the air out and it just comes out of the tube. And put your cap back on and just knead the hardener around in there just make sure everything's mixed together correctly. We've hit the door up with some 60 grit paper to give the filler something to bite into. So now we're going to show you how to mix the filler up. So you're going to take your little spreader here, pull out enough filler that you need to do the work area. Now we're doing a pretty pretty large area here, so I'm going to get a decent, decent glob out. So once you have the, uh, the fill out that you're going to be using, I'm going to take your hardener and the, the general rule of thumb that a lot of guys use is you're going to take a ribbon across the center. It's about half the width of the amount of filler that you already pulled out of the can. So I'm going to take this, start just outside of the center, pull to there. Now you may want to use a little more hardener depending on the area that you're working in. If it's a little colder in your garage, a little hotter, you, you may have to vary that. But that's a general rule of thumb to get you working. So you're going to mix that up, just flipping it over. Now you don't want to whip the filler too much to get a ton of air bubbles in it. So you will find that will cause a lot of pinholes when you're laying your filler. Okay, after you got this mixed up pretty well, you're going to just start spreading it lightly across the area. Now you're going to have to work pretty quickly, depending on how much hardener you put in. And then you're going to come back and just smooth everything out. You don't want to lay too thick of a coat in one shot because that's when you're going to have lifting and it's going to have issues coming off. Now that the filler is cured, I like to use a DA sander to go down and knock all the high ridges off the filler. I'm going to come back and hand sand it with a Dura block to get everything smoothed out and see if we need another coat of filler. Okay, we just got done hitting up the filler with uh, 80 grit paper. Um, you can see there's some spots that are, you know, darker. Those are basically like some of your low spots. So we're going to come back with another coat of filler and uh, start sanding this and see where we're at. All right, now we have pretty much all of our filler laid. The next thing we're going to want to do is any little pinholes that is in the filler that you might have had left over. You're going to use some of our contour polyester glazing putty. You can either mix this in with the filler or you can do it afterwards. I'm going to add some in now and just uh, smooth out these areas. Then finally, I'll use a little bit of guide coat, spray it over the area, just to make sure that there's no low spots at all. And I'll finish sanding everything, feather the edges out, and then we'll hit up the primer. the polyester surface are now cured, the repair area is sealed, and we can move on to other areas of the truck that need some metal working. Once all of those areas are up to speed with this door, we're going to also spray them with the polyester surfacer to fill in any imperfections and block sand them to get everything laser straight. <laughs> 